we often hear a lot of reports in the Western media about Xinjiang. Now this is downtown Xinjiang. I'm going to be going to a little remote Uyghur village. Only a few hundred people live there, all Uyghurs. I want to see, how are they? Are they happy? What's life really like in a true Xinjiang village? Hi guys, so I've found a little rural town, not town, a village rather, in Xinjiang. It's a very remote part of Xinjiang, far away from the city centre. Very, very different to what I'm, you know, I'm used to, especially in Shanghai. Ah, ni hao. Ni hao, ni hao. I'm a Chinese person. I think this place is actually bigger than I thought it was. I thought it was tiny, but actually, no. It's uh, going on and on. I mean, I'm a country boy myself, so I love it. I love this type of place. So I live in just outside of Shrewsbury, if you know that in the UK. Maybe, maybe not. But there's a lot of greenery. This is a different type of rural area, isn't it? Because we're quite close to the desert, so it does feel like that. Let's see, what's, what is inside here? Yakshamosis. Let's see, what do we got? It's just like a little store. Uh, food. Oh, what's he selling? Oh, he's selling like spices, chilies, I think. But yeah, like I was saying, this does feel not really like I'm in China. It feels like I'm somewhere maybe in the Middle East or something, I suppose. Yakshamosis. <laughs> They're so friendly, the little kids. They're just like looking at me like, hey, he's not a local. He's not a local. What's he doing here? I look a bit different. <laughs> wow, check these houses out. Yeah, they're very different to traditional Chinese houses. And they've got, yeah, each house will have their own little farm. I guess it must be so cheap. Yeah, not many people will rent. No one will rent these houses, right? They will have bought them um, for a very cheap price. Um, I, yeah, I don't know how much, but I do know like rent in the city centre, for example, is about 600 RMB. Compare that to Shanghai, 4,000, 3,000, but here, very cheap. So I, I imagine buying a house again would be yeah, really affordable. Oh, I forgot to show you, by the way. Someone gave me this uh, hat, like a traditional Uyghur hat. I don't know if I'm wearing it right. My head's really big, so maybe it doesn't fit me quite well. <laughs> Look what I've just found. I'm a huge football fan. Football in the desert. I wonder if I can come play with these guys. Ah, oh, this will be awesome. Have a little game. Man, en Englielic. Yeah. There. <laughs> nice, alright, see how good this is. This is decent, play football in the desert. Reminds me of like my school days. Alright, okay, now we've got to go run the other way. Oh my god, this is like mayhem. Oh, no man's land. <laughs> I've got my hat on as well, which is just going to come off. Hey, nice. Oh, it's great defending. Oh, set him up though. Oh, what an assist. Oh, just order. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh my God, they come out of my pocket. All right, I better stop this, guys. A higher horse. It's great fun. They've got um, volleyball as well. Yakshamosis. Yeah. Bye bye, 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 bye. Oh, how can I? This is as remote as it comes, guys. This is rural Xinjiang, and everybody here is Uyghur. So I checked the statistics, there's about five or six hundred plus people who live here. Everyone is Uyghur. And look, genuinely, everybody is smiling, everybody is happy. This is not fake. This is all real. This is how genuine Uyghurs live their lives. And it seems a very happy, non-stressful place. Okay, you've got a Chinese flag. Aigua. Um, yeah, you've got some grapes here. Let's try some grapes, shall we? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, can I have this? Let's try that. Oh my god, that's really sour. Wow, how swam. Yakshimul sis. <laughs> He's a little shy. Oh my god, I've just seen the biggest guard dog ever. Look how big this beast is. Oh, he just come running up to me. I wasn't recording. Oh, oh hello. All right. I wonder, I want to know what's inside there, but I'm too scared to go close. I'm not gonna go. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. We've even got like this uh, little animal farm as well, which I stumbled across. Chickens, geese. Haha, <laughs> really cool. My gosh, I really am in the middle of nowhere. This is really beautiful. I really like this. In a way, yeah, it feels like I'm back at home, but it also feels like I'm a million miles away, which I actually I am. <laughs> is this chicken sleeping? Yeah, this one's just like fast asleep. Oh, I shouldn't wake him up. His eyes are closed. Never seen a chicken sleep. Oh, he's opened his eyes. I woke him up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, they've got chilies. So, uh, that's, that's that thing I saw before. That guy, he was uh, 
going past with uh, the, the chilli sauce, right? Go on, go on, go on, go on. Selling watermelons, melons and everything. Wow, oh, yeah, it's super hot to be honest. Today is all right, but um, the summer is normally like 40 degrees uh, usually. The winter is um, is okay, not cold. It's like 15 degrees or something like that. I mean, just look how beautiful these homes are. They're just so nice. This whole place is just really peaceful. I'd, I'd love to live here, to be honest. Yo, and guess what, guys? I found this Uyghur lady. She speaks Mandarin, and she's kindly offered to show me her home, her family's home. And they got um, ping pong here. Do they just play on here or something? Oh. It's their living room. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, very colourful, very vibrant. Hmm, how nice. I like this. It's quite spacious. This woman's neighbor is a farmer and I wanted to talk to him, but he didn't speak Mandarin, so she kindly translated a couple of stuff for me. But I don't control the type of license. I don't That's good then, they're very happy, very friendly. They love their life here, that's the main thing, right? Yeah, just look, really like, like the, the architecture, the paintings and everything. Just the, the general atmosphere, really small, quiet, peaceful. I think I'd like to live here, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.